challenge to do it to spread awareness of vets with SPD. PTSD, very good. PTSD. Okay, are right. you going to do all 22 with me? Yep, and we have to end the video with 10 squats. Whoa, whoa, you up to the ante on me here? <laughs> all right, we have 22 push ups and 10 squats. Here we go. Ready? Set? Go. One, One two, three. You beat me. All right, 10 squats. Ready? Get it. Here we go. Ready? Set? Go. One. <laughs> oh my goodness, Elliot, that is awesome. Okay, so before the break, we learned about the 22 and 22 campaign, and you just saw a young Delmarva man and his father rise to the challenge, and we are happy to have them with us today. Chris Damone and Elliot, you guys took on the challenge for the 22 and 22. How's That's it going right. so far? It's going really well. Um, we're finding that it's a little more difficult than it might seem <laughs> at a glance. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. Elliot really wanted to be involved in this with me when he found out uh, that, that I was going to be doing it. So um, we decided to make it a team effort. And, uh, and and you're not doing it alone. Not today. No, not today, because we have Corey Phoenix from 1025 WBOC. You're ready to take on the challenge, are you? Because when we decided we wanted to do this, we were like, okay, who can, who can stand in for Jimmy? And then you were the first person. The to shortest come. guy. The shortest the guy in the station. Guy. Stand. Of course, I was going to do it, but um, broken foot. Sorry, can't do it. Excuses, you know. excuses. Excuses, okay. excuses. Okay, so um, this is how it works. You guys are going to do 22 push-ups, and you do them for 22 days, right? 22 days. Yeah, Correct. yeah. Yep. So what do you think? Is that in the big scheme of thing, 22? 22 oh. a day for 22. Day straight? Yeah. Correct. That's a lot of push ups. That's a lot of push ups? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's get going. Now, Chris, you're going to make today count. I am. See, I'm, so this is, we're going to go ahead and record like we typically do on, there you are, Delmarva. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to record and we're going to put this on Facebook. So. Okay. And I guess my job is going to be to count, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or stand, they might want me to stand on their back so that they get a little more challenging. <laughs> no, no. Okay. All right. I'm going to. Go as quickly as I can. Okay. I'm the time He's setting here. up his camera over there. All right. All right. Guys. Can you see yourself? Drop and give me 22. Oh, there you go. Ready? Set. All ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, halfway, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. All right, guys, good job. Elliot, way to go, way to go. And who are your friends here? You brought them with you. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Sam and Skittles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, good luck with it. Thank, Thank you. you for, for uh, putting that out there. Thank you for coming in and, and doing uh, your push-ups and of course we encourage you to take the challenge as well share your videos with us feel free to post them to the Delmarva Life Facebook page okay so our push-ups didn't take too long to complete and that's the thing you don't need a lot of time to get a great workout in for the day in fact everyone has at least one minute but could it really be beneficial well Sean shows us why one minute might be better than you think you breathe you lift you sweat, but how long does it take to squeeze in a good workout? At least 30 minutes. At least 20 minutes. Probably about half an hour. A new study shows just one minute of exercise might be beneficial. Researchers looked at 25 men who performed either 10-minute sprint interval workouts or 50-minute endurance workouts three times a week on a stationary bike. The sprint workouts included just one minute of intense activity, the endurance, 45 minutes of moderate activity. Results showed after 12 weeks, both groups had almost identical improvements in muscle function, aerobic fitness, and insulin sensitivity. If you want to try a sprint workout, it consists of a two-minute warm-up, followed by sprinting all out for 20 seconds. Next, recover at a slow pace for two minutes. Then it's back to sprinting for 20 seconds, recovering again for two minutes, sprinting for a final 20 seconds, and cooling down for three minutes. It adds up to just one minute of real work, but you might just see some results. 
Researchers involved in the study warn that even though sprint interval workouts are shorter, the type of training is very intense and may not be good for people with chronic health problems or for those who do not exercise regularly.